Hi, this is Doug Brown and this is the Tracker Quick Start Tutorial. I'm going to analyze a video of a falling ball using the steps you see below. And if you take a look at those real quick, we'll get started. Okay, here we go. So first I'm going to open this Galileo's projectile video. And then I'm going to select the frames of interest. So I'm going to scan across the video here. It's a ball that rolls off the table right about there. It becomes airborne. I'm going to set that to be the start frame. And then it continues on its way. And somewhere in here, I'm going to set that to be the end frame. So I'm only going to analyze this part of the video. So the next step is to calibrate the video. I'm going to do that by creating a calibration stick. It's right here. Change the color of that to yellow so you can see that a little better. All right, calibration stick has a length of 100 by default, but I'm going to click there and make that be 1 because there's a 1 meter stick right here. And I'm going to just put my meter stick right next to the one in the video. And that way I know that that's calibrated. I'm going to hide that when I'm done. Click the next button over to show the coordinate axes. I want to put the uh, origin of the coordinate axis right at the center of the ball where it starts, and that's right up here. So let's just go up and do that. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here with my mouse wheel so I can see that better. All right, that's set to go. So now I will create a point mass and start tracking the ball as it falls. I'm going to hold down the shift key, click the ball. The video steps forward automatically. Click again. I'll keep going and get back to you in a minute. Okay, so that's done. Let's just review that and see that it follows it. Here's my plot over here. I'm going to change this. So I'm looking at the vertical velocity versus time. Looks pretty straight. So I'm going to double click that to bring the data up in data tool. And under analyze, I choose curve fits. By default, it's a line. It's auto fitting. And if I look over here at the slope, it's minus 1.00 10 to the plus 1. That's minus 10. I'll leave it up to you to interpret those results. Bye-bye.